A face? Yeah, faces are tricky, um, but I can show you. Yeah, someone sit down like right there, kind of close. Well, you you should you should pose. You sit, you're the one who asked, right? So, the trick the trick to it is to um, like stand a little closer, so so we can focus on that. So the trick to the face is to get it looking human first, and then make it look like a portrait, right? So. I'm not going to guarantee like a likeness, though a likeness is kind of what you're eventually going for. And if you look like at an angle, that makes it easier for me to show off the form, right? So things like glasses and hats and hair are difficulties and opportunities at the same time, right? Yeah. So they give you opportunity to show extra form, but they kind of also screw you up at first. So the idea first is that for a head, you want a whole head, right? You want the whole overall form, right? Boom, the whole thing. And you want a neck coming off of that that's connected to something, right? If you do not, if you have like a floating face, you're in trouble, right? So you want to build, you want to build this from the component parts. So what you can do is you can kind of see the corners of the face to get the overall face shape. She's kind of looking up or like she's above me, right? So I kind of have to incorporate this form around the face, you know, like, so I'm thinking she, it's kind of like that, like on a globe, like the equator line, I'm below, I'm below the equator, right? And I know that the ear is gonna hit that, that line, right? Then I have the luxury of, you know, having someone who's wearing a hat, so I can immediately include the hat in there, right? And then, um, so what you can kind of do is subdivide it. So you know that the, that the corner of the face is like here, right? And the eyes are gonna be like here and here, right? So now what I do is I find the center between the eyes right there. And track that down the head and over. Okay, so now I've subdivided it. So I found like, my equator line and my intersecting line on the form, right? Cool. And I have basic, the basic corner. Now what I do is I sketch out the proportions of mouth, nose, eyes, eyebrows, right? And then hairline. So you want to treat the hair as a helmet with strands. Okay, see it start to emerge? The proportions are all there now. Okay, then I want the jaw in there as well. So now there's several component forms that I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with one uh, form like that's kind of, if I were to box it out, it would be kind of like this. The eyes go somewhere in here, right? <laughs> that's kind of crazy looking, right? But that's that's the form you deal with. And then I have another form that echoes it, that's like that. And I have the mouth form that's there, where the mouth is, right? So we can make those a little more elegant for the purposes of of demonstration. But essentially, you want to get the temples in there, right? And then the mouth form kind of goes from above the nostrils and down. A bunch of muscles there, right? To the bottom of the chin. And that form kind of like will overlap the far cheek. So what I want to be sure to do is treat the eye as a, as a sphere within the skull, right? I don't want to treat it as like this almond shaped thing. So I found the eyebrow location, not, so I'm going to get a little brave with that just to start anchoring it there. I found the eye. So you're in a process of searching, right?
so I want to make sure that this eye sinks back into the into the head, even though you know, she kind of has. Uh, what do I have? <laughs> they're not as deep set as mine. You know, my nose kind of like sticks out really far in the Asian corner of my eye. Yeah, it's the the Asian thing, right? It doesn't really matter. It's the same for everybody. Same concept that we're working with. There, found the cheek. Okay, so now what I want to do is just indicate the direction of the people, right? Looks a little creepy at first, but that's okay. Cool. I haven't done this in a while. So next what I want to do is make sure that the nose becomes a form, right? And I can kind of see here the I kind of want to box it out a little bit, but keep it rounded. Make sure that the nostrils kind of adhere to that form. So, corner of the pupils, corner of the mouth, we're pretty close on this one. Um, kind of made, I think I did the bottom lip line okay, but not the top. Yeah, that's better. Make sure that that forms in. Boom. There. Now, I've kind of established most of the locations of everything, right? So I can overlay the hair now is kind of this cool, crazy mass. Um, then I kind of want to establish the neck too. Make sure that she has a neck. <laughs> That's sort of important in life. So for the actual throat, you can kind of make that a separate little cylinder. And then I know that there are sternomastoid muscles coming down there that meet at the clavo at like the clavicle line. Boom. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. She's correcting you. <laughs> no, it is. The, it's the sternocleolus. Yeah. For the sternoclavicle meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. So. Mm. That is so yeah. Like this, yeah, this process takes a little while, right? There you go. Hat, coming around, boom. <coughs> and make sure that she has a cranium. Yes, that's important. <laughs> yeah, right? A little extra material on the hat. Okay, so there we go. We're about there, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean... It's a little rough. I haven't done this in a, haven't done this in a while, and it's not exactly like my artistic specialty. But there we go. So now I can find shadow core and sort of start to immediately posterize if I want to take it further. No, you have a beard. <laughs> you just need to give you me a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> the wrinkles. Well, if nice if I go for beard. a full if I go for a full like value drawing, those will those will become irrelevant with time, right? Yeah, they all all blend in. It's just like you in forty years. So the glasses are something that you want to eliminate for a while, right? Yeah. Um, it's part of me. You need yeah. to draw it. Yeah, but drawing them is not a problem. Like, so what you want to do is remember just box them out, right? So boom, there. And I don't want it to like screw up the... <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna be you in 40 years with those glasses on. That's the exact it's same everything. So well, I don't know, they're like, they're all like hip glasses or whatever. They are hip what glasses. We don't say? That's all right, dude, I need a starter. Cool. <laughs> so you get the glasses in, right? Yeah, it definitely is like, my, my, my scratchiness of drawing, <laughs> my scratchiness of drawing style has like yeah, aged you a little bit, nice. but nice. you know. For this view, it does not look horrible at all. No. It looks like an Asian link. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it kind of does, right? Thank God my hair's not blonde. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, hey, I would take so extra <laughs> link. Here you would try to you would try to create some elegance of of line. Um, here, if you wanted, and that that is what would kind of take this oh, away from aging things, right? Kind of bind a few forms, Boom. and then the lip lines are always tough because you want to create this harsh line, but they're really not that harsh. And then you always want to make sure that you kind of get this little corner form and that the hairline is right. I, got, I, had, I need to move the hair a little bit. Too much space. Same thing. You have a shadow under the hair. Yada yada. And then add in sort of the cheek line, the overlap here. She looks sad. I am yeah. sad. <laughs> She's a sad, sad person. Kyle's with a view from Fast and Furious, the age of Fast and Furious. Anyway. I haven't seen that. Oh, but. I not seen like old So, mm -hmm. there you go. And then, you know, wherever there's clothes, draw, don't be afraid to draw in the clothes. Okay. So, the more layers and the more passes you get, the closer and closer you get to what the person actually looks like. Um, like spending another 30 minutes on this, we could get something pretty reasonable, uh, reasonably approximating a portrait. But that's the basic start. So you start human, start blocks, and then work your way towards likeness. Cool. Right? Hmm. Yeah. Cool. No problem. That's Maybe like the <laughs> mega figure drawing cr crash course slash portrait. Maybe cool. <laughs>